So, someone needed to remind me that, you know, Harry Potter movies are like two and a half hours long. Most of them are. Or, you know, at least they're over two hours long. Since it's, you know, Deathly Hallows comes out this weekend, I thought to myself, hmm, I'm gonna watch Harry Potter movies 1 through 5 this weekend, then go see the movie. So, not too long ago, I got done watching the first one, which, all in all, with the credits and everything, about two and a half hours. I, then I checked the back of the other uh, DVDs, and yeah, they're about the same range. Wow. Did not know that. I mean, I went to see the movie, the sixth movie, when it came out last year. I don't remember it being that long, but they could, I wasn't paying attention to the time back then. Plus, there's a timer on my DVD, so I know how long exactly the movie will be. You know, the funny thing, when I saw the movie last year, the sixth movie, up, that was the first Harry Potter movie I went to actually go see in theaters. So, you know, I thought to myself, okay, I'm just gonna buy the uh, one through five, and <laughs> so I did. And I never, I never watched them until like tonight. That's the first time I've actually just bought, you know, uh, not bought, watched the DVDs I bought. I mean, technically, I've seen the third one. It was on HBO a long time ago. I've seen. I've seen most of the first one on television. I've seen like half of the second one. The ones I haven't seen are four, five, and at the moment seven. Okay, so what was I trying? There was something else I was gonna say about that. Oh, also, I have this habit of when I, I buy a DVD, but then I, I never watch it. I don't know why I've done that. I mean, I bought, let's see, I bought Batman, you know, the original one with uh, Michael Keaton. <clears throat> and I had, uh, it was like months before I looked at it. Uh, any other DVDs I've got? Actually, I bought the uh, movie um, Fiddler on the Roof, it's a play. I was in the play that year, so I decided to buy the movie. And I have not looked at that movie in a year. I've had it for like a year and I have not looked at it. Oh, what else have I got? Let me see if I can look at them. No, I've looked at everything else I bought, I think. Hmm. Let's see. I kind of have a habit that a habit with that with video games too. Like I bought Sonic and the Secret Rings. Now I played that. Let's see. I bought it last December or the December before that. Anyway, it was around. It was in December. I know. And I hadn't played it in a year. I played like half of the game. I think the problem was there was a certain level with the dinosaurs. I like I kept dying because the controls were so awkward. I just kind of stopped, and I need to finish it at some point. Same thing with. Let's see. I have Dragon Quest Five: Hand of the Heavenly Heavenly Bride. I'm like, I got towards the end of that game, and I just stopped. No particular reason. I just kind of stopped. And that was like a year ago. I need to finish that. And I need to finish Sonic Chronicles, you know, the RPG. God, that's a weird game. I thought that game is just un needlessly hard. I mean, like, the regular fights, like, enemies, running the enemies. Those fights are, like, hard for some reason. And granted, the music kind of sucks in it, too. And those in-game cutscenes... Uh, you know, the, the comic book style thing. Man, those are horrible drawings. Man, but I still I still need to finish it, because it's going to bother me. One more game I finished. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. The, you know, PS2 uh, port. I haven't finished that. And that's a weird game. Only because, you know, the whole card, that whole card battle thing. That's what kind of gets me. Part of me wishes it was kind of like this game, where you just hack away at something instead of using cards. 
That's what I wish. It's just that I've gotten to, let's see, I got through the tutorial, I fought Axel, and then I went to Wonderland and I got killed by like a random enemy. It's just because, you know, the card thing is so mm, weird. It's funny thing, I know the storyline of that game. It's just as far as actually getting through it. I just need to sit down and play it again and finish it because I plan to, you know, do that game at some point. Sometime after I finish this one, I'm gonna try and do them in order. I never played. I never played um, the GBA version. I heard of it, which, but I never played it, which is why I was kind of confused. You know that opening cutscene in Kingdom Hearts 2 when they show what happens in uh, Castle Oblivion? If you never played Chain of Memories, you have no idea what the hell's going on. And oh right. I've been talking this whole time and I have not been acknowledging what's going on on the screen. So yeah, we just came here to find Leon and talk to him about something. Something about gummy shirts, I think. Did we run an errand for Sid? Or did we do that yet? Ah, uh, crap. Um. What was I doing? I found a red trinity and then I just ran somewhere. All he's really doing is just talking about going to different worlds, gummy blocks, blah 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 blah. There's there's not much going on here at the moment because we're back in Traverse Town. Now, if this, now that I think about it, now that I'm looking at it, if this is sewer water, I really hope that's clean. Oh, I don't like these little things. Each of them have a different name. Like the yellow ones, blue ones... Red ones, green ones. The problem I have with them is they they have this annoying habit of running away from you, which is annoying in itself. The blizzard spell is really weird in this game. Like it spreads out. I kind of think of it as like a shotgun. It it, it has that spread fire. And you have to be close to an enemy for it to actually, you know, do something. It's exactly like cheap shots like that. I, I hate that. I hate small enemies. Oh, and these little green things, if you don't kill... Uh, probably a good idea to get rid of them first, only because they're, you know, they're the healers. Which, it's not a big deal unless you've got, like, an enemy with a lot of HP, like, large bodies. I think they'll heal their allies, too. Kind of like those, uh, horn things in, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Those little trumpet monsters. I don't know, they have a name. So. Well, nothing's going on, let me think. Oh, so, you know, like I said, like I said at the beginning, you know, Deathly Hallows is out now. And I will admit, the movies, they do a little better characterization, in my opinion. I know, the characters just, they don't seem as, obno as obnoxious in the book. Like, for instance, you know Snape? The Snape in the movies doesn't seem nearly as bad as the Snape in the book. Of course, the Snape in the book had a mustache and a pointy beard. And I know that because that, uh, the sixth book, they had that one illustration of him. 
you know, each chapter uh, has an illustration in it. Um, now that I think about it, I'm sure, pretty sure every movie had a different Dumbledore, too. Anyway, I know I probably talk spoilers about Harry Potter. I mean, considering, you know, if you're going to see the movies or read the book, well, if you read the book, then obviously you know what happens. Because you know in the seventh book, that's the one where everybody just starts dying. I mean, they people start dropping off like flies in that book. And I'm going to spoil stuff, you know, like, let's see, who dies? Snape dies, obviously. I mean, you saw that coming. Someone of his character... You just, you just knew he was gonna die. Uh, I think Mad Eye Moody died. Remus, was it Remus? Remus and Tonks died. That was, those were two pointless deaths. You know, I feel like if they had to die, they should have at least gotten on-screen death or on-page death. No, they just die. You know, off-page. It's like, oh, they're dead. Which literally makes sen no sense because Remus went off to fight and then Tonks ran after him, knowing full well that, you know, they had a child at home and somebody had to take care of it. That didn't make much sense. Uh, who else died? And there was another one. Harry Owl Hedwig died. That's probably the most pointless one. Why is Owl? I swear the Harry Potter books, J.K. Rowling just wants Harry to be miserable. What was the point of his owl dying? Really? His owl? It's not like his life sucks enough. You just gotta kill off his owl. It served no purpose, and Harry really never mentioned the owl anymore. He didn't even acknowledge it. I don't think he did. He didn't even care. Oh, 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 I think Dobby died, if I recall correctly. Man, that was sad. Who else? Oh, and you know... I think that's it as far as deaths. Well, as far as, you know, good guys go. Um... <laughs> interesting. Anything interesting I have in this book 7 that I should be aware about? I am interesting how they're gonna do that whole Bellatrix, Bellatrix Lestrange getting killed by, you know, Mrs. Weasley. Really? I read that in the book and I'm just like, what? I mean, I think she deserved a little bit better death than that. Couldn't she be killed by someone else? Not Ron Weasley, Weasley's mom? Really? Man, that was just utterly pathetic. Oh, man. Was it? Oh, well. Let's see, time's running out, so I'll probably address this in the next video.